any sort of sport or anything worth doing, there's going to be a level of sacrifices you have to give. And uh, this is just what comes with bodybuilding, the fact that you need to be training, you know, six days a week with weights. You need to be having all your meals every day pre-prepared. There's injury management stuff going on. Um, so there's quite a lot to it, but it's the thing I enjoy probably the most is the fact that you're doing something so different from everyone else that really sets you apart. To be honest, I first started training like everyone else. I just wanted to put on the extra muscle. You know, I thought I might get a bit of extra attention from the women. Sort of, that was it. Went to the gym and uh, started from there. The motivation, I guess, for bodybuilding has to be twofold. One, it has to come from within. So you need to be able to push yourself. You need to be motivated to push yourself. When you're doing it tough in the gym, when you're on a low calorie diet, uh, you might have an injury. When you are really doing it tough, the only way you're gonna push yourself 100% is if you are completely self-motivated. And you can't be taught that, you can't be trained that. No one can push you through that. So it has to come from within. Stepping up into the pro ranks now, it is really, you know, I'm trying to push myself against the guys who are the best in the business. So it's taking things up another level of, again you know to turn pro was one thing in australia we have a certain standard in australia it's a very high standard but then if you take things up again to an international pro bodybuilder it's next level again so i'm constantly uh, trying to look at the best in the business and trying to match it in terms of my training intensity my consistency you see how hard they're pushing themselves and it really drives you to push that next level but unless you're self-motivated to get the work done then you're never going to be able to push yourself to your potential you know when you enter a comp prep mode there's no margin for error every day you need to put in 100 percent effort that goes for your training your cardio your diet and then it's just a daily grind every set counts every meal counts absolutely everything counts going towards the ultimate goal of stepping on stage with the maximum amount of muscle the smallest amount of body fat possible uh, as you start to get leaner, everything gets tough. You know, you're starting running, running low on energy. You're starting to doubt yourself. The show gets closer and closer. Your energy levels go into the ground. And that's the time you really need to pick it up and take things to the next level. I generally try to surround myself with as many positive, like-minded people as possible. You're gonna get people that are jealous. You're gonna get the haters out there. You know what? I like to use them as motivation and to keep pushing hard. In saying that, like I said, probably the biggest part of bodybuilding for me is pushing yourself, being self-motivated and doing all the work yourself. Constantly training, constantly trying to eat all the meals that you need to eat. Look, it does, it just comes with, you know, the job of being a pro bodybuilder. You know, there's definitely times where I would like to just be relaxing, you know, going out with friends, going out with family, but I have to go to the gym or I have to put meals down. But overall, it's a very enjoyable experience. I'm here by choice. I'm here because I want to be here. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. The fact that you're doing something so different from everyone else, it really sets you apart.